Hi guys! Hi Kofa! Welcome back to our channel. My name is Judith Courage Atairo and it's so good to have you back. So as you know by now, I'm currently running my master's program and it's been a lot. I'm not even going to lie. But I'll keep you guys updated. I have so many videos. I have so many unedited videos guys. Like I've documented a lot. And I'm going to edit the videos as you know I proceed and I continue with this program. But today's video is a different one. It's been a long time that I did a you know facing the camera kind of video. So a lot of people have asked me, right? What do I need to know before I start the YouTube channel? How did you start your YouTube channel? What are, the, what are the things I need to look out for? What are the things I need to know before starting? And I think this video is long overdue. And so here it is. Things to know before starting your YouTube channel or before starting a YouTube channel. So here we go. So I wrote it down and so I'm just going to you know, explain all of those things. So the first thing would be, one, have a plan. You know, it's very easy to, you know, when you start a new venture, it's exciting. You're like, oh, I want to start something new. The adrenaline is there. You know, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. It's exciting to start something, to start a YouTube channel. But you have to ensure that you're not starting a channel one because of peer pressure. I mean, everybody's almost every, since as well, almost everybody is doing YouTube. So you're like, oh, I want to have a YouTube channel because everybody's doing YouTube. Nah, it's not going to work. You need to have a plan. Why do you want to have a channel? What is it that you want to convey on your channel? What message do you want to pass across to your on your channel? What message do you want to pass across to people? Why do you even want to start in the first place? Because it's having the why that will keep you going. On the days where it's hard, on the days where it's difficult, on the days where it seems like you're putting in so much effort to create content and you're just getting one views, one like we want you subscriber it can be really demoralizing sometimes but when you have a plan and you know your why it's always easier to keep going when it gets tough so you need to have a plan before starting a youtube channel have a plan what do you aim to achieve and it's okay if you do not have it all figured out to be honest when i started my youtube channel i didn't have it all figured out and like, i didn't really know the entirety of what it is i wanted to do but i had a sense of direction i knew what it was that i wanted to do and also this is something i learned the hard way if you want to start a youtube channel eh, ensure to be honest ensure you have recorded at least seven videos like ensure you have like seven videos waiting for you like you have recorded edited or even short seven videos at first just start with seven videos ensure you have seven videos because it helps you with the next point i'm going to raise as we continue with the video so have a plan what is your channel about what are you going to be doing on your channel and also it's okay if you do not have a niche yet some people get to figure out what their niche is as they go on so with consistency comes you know improvements you get better what it is you're doing you get to figure out okay this is what i want to do this is what i like i like this particular thing if it's fashion if it's lifestyle if it's vlogging about faith love whatever it is if it's cuisine or kitchen kind of um what kitchen blog vlog or anything just ensure that you give yourself enough room to grow but do not be so hurried about niching down at the beginning it's not something that i would advise and it's not something that even like older youtubers and successful youtubers we advise you to do right so do not rush about creating a niche yet give yourself time to explore but have a plan know where you're headed so the second point progress not perfection so i get a lot of people tell me things like oh i need a camera oh i need a ring light i need to buy an iphone 13 i need this i need that i need a microphone i need to have you know i need to have all the equipment so be honest there you don't need all of that to start you do not need all of that i mean if you can afford it fine if you have the money to invest in all of those things of course i'll tell you go for it it's better to you know have quality but if you're like me that you don't have any of those things when i started youtube 
I would advise to use the phone you have. You see this phone in my hand. This is a Samsung A71. I saved up for this phone in 2021. In fact, my first phone that I had for YouTube was a gift from one of my aunts. It was an iPhone, an iPhone 6. And I used it to vlog. And I really wanted to start YouTube at the time. And I was using one techno like that at that point in time. And though, even though I started with it, but the, videos, the video quality was not good enough. And so someone was kind enough to so so like, this YouTube has to blow. Like, I literally have to blow on this YouTube because a lot of people have invested in me and this dream that I have with this channel. So you don't need to have all the equipment and all the gadgets to start. If you have a phone, if you need to save up, you don't even need to have a camera per se to start. If you save up for a good phone, you can use it to vlog. Honestly, I had an iPhone 6 and I used that iPhone 6 to vlog for almost a year before I gave it out. To, to my brother but you don't need to have all the equipment in order to start youtube no that's it like you don't even need a microphone you don't if you use an iphone even when i was using an iphone 6 i did not have camera um i did not have microphone i still don't have a microphone yet i'm using audio from you know from the phone and that's what i'm using to record and when i'm editing it on the app i i, I increase the volume i reduce it i increase it to applicable so you don't need to have a microphone before it starts just ensure that you have the basic which is a phone a phone with a good camera quality it, not, it doesn't necessarily have to be the best but it can be good so that people can at least see what it is that you're doing and even if you have an android you can use it because not long after i gave up my phone i had to buy this at samsung a71 i saved up for it and again my uncle and one of my aunts and my dad sent me money in order to pay for this phone but what i'm trying to say is you do not need to have all the equipment and by the time i even bought this phone it was an investment because i already started it for about a year so it wasn't that ah okay i'm waiting for a phone i'm just waiting no i started with what i had which was an iPhone 6 that was given to me by my aunt. So you don't need to have all of the equipment. Just start with what you teach you have. Progress, not perfection. As you keep going, as you keep doing it, as you keep improving. So as you keep going, you keep improving, you keep adding to your existing um, equipment and things you have. Before I had a ring light, I didn't get a ring light until, was it a year? A year and three months. After a year and a month after I started YouTube and it was a gift from my best friend so I did not have a ring light in fact I will show you what I used to use to hold my phone to do videos I would <laughs> I'll go to my uncle's study I will stack books like this I'll place my phone on, on the wall and I'll, I'll video when I used to use the sitting room to do my videos I would stack the um, the, the, what's it called? The pillow from the couch. I'll stack them like this, put a book on it. Then I'll put my phone and I'll use it. <laughs> In fact, the camera used to be, the camera angle used to be very low because I would be seated high and then instead of the camera being straight in my face i'm looking downwards because i was trying to you know the angle was elevated but i started small i started with what i had i did not have money to buy ring light at the time i couldn't afford it but i wanted to start youtube so you do not bottom line is progress not perfection you don't need to have everything in order to start a youtube channel so yeah that's that so the next point is consistency is key <laughs> see one of the reasons why and it's something that I'm learning to not be too hard on myself because they have been I've been involved in so many activities in recent times, especially with school, assignments, projects, deadlines and things like that. So I've not really had time. I've not really had the time to be consistent with YouTube. But I know that if I have not yet hit 1000 subscribers, it is because I have not been consistent with YouTube. And that is something that you need in order to start a YouTube channel. You need to be consistent. If you want your channel to grow, if you want your channel to improve, you want your channel to become better, if you want to really succeed in this YouTube thing, you need to be consistent. Consistency is key. Like, I'm not even joking. If I'm I hit my first 100 subscribers within two weeks of starting YouTube, 
because I was consistent at the time. You know, it was new. I was excited. Oh, I'm starting a YouTube channel. Subscribe to my channel. Blah blah blah. This and that. And within two three weeks of starting my channel officially, I had hundred subscribers. But the problem was, I wasn't consistent anymore. After saying oh I this and that and that, I wasn't consistent. And the truth is, and it's something I have learned. And I have seen people that started YouTube within a year, and they hit one thousand subscribers. They were not doing magic. The only thing they were doing is they were showing up. They showed up as adventure. And even like in relating it to the first plan of um, to the first point of having a plan, how many times in the month do you want to post videos? Do you want to post videos twice a week, once a week? To be honest, is consistent and successful YouTubers and people that have actually grown and invested that do YouTube full time that post YouTube videos like three, four times in a week. If you are doing other things, I will not advise you to be posting four times, five times in a week because YouTube is a lot of dedication and it's a lot of work, creating content, editing, staying consistent. So you have to choose a plan that is very flexible for you, for you to know, you know for you, in order for you to meet up, right? So if it's once a week, let it be once a week. If it's twice a week, let it be twice a week. If it's twice in a month, let it be twice in a month. Like be consistent. You're supposed to show up at the time you say you're supposed to show up. And this is for me as well. And it's something that I have gone back to my drawing board. I have designed in my notes what it is, when it is I'm supposed to post YouTube content, when I'm supposed to create and things like that. So you have to be consistent. Consistency is key. So now moving to my fourth point, set goals. Now when I say set goals, I'm not necessarily talking about, you know, subscriber counts. So it's great to have quite a number of subscribers it's great to hit 1000 subscribers it's great to hit 4000 watch hours but let's be honest those are not really easy things to come by so when i mean goals i mean have goals in areas that are within your control to a large extent so the number of subscribers you have the new number of subscribers that you may have while on your youtube journey may not entirely be within your control that's not really something you can control but what you can control on the other hand is the number of content you put out on youtube is the number of videos you make on youtube is the number of shorts you create on youtube that is within your control and i learned this thing from Selen king and he was talking about how creators and you know people with creative juice need to actually focus their attention not on subscribers or followers but on the number of content they put out and there is no way you create value consistently there is no way you have a lot of videos there is no way you upload consistently that your number of subscribers will not increase that your watch hour will not increase that your number of followers or following will not increase so set goals strategic goals on how many videos you want to put out in a month in a quarter in six months time in a year that way it's totally within your control you get to measure you get to know okay i have made progress in this this month i was able to put out four videos in two months i was able to put out eight videos within a year this is the number of videos i was make i was able to put out this is the number of videos i've been able to create that way these are within your control you can control how many videos you get to create and if or when the subscribers increase when the watch time increases that's great but i would always advise that your your, your focus should be on what it is you are creating the value you are adding the the the, the increase you are bringing what you're bringing to the table and make it better as you go on right so set goals that are mostly within your control of course aspire for great subscribers but with value comes increase right with value comes money with value comes great and a higher level of subscriber count so yeah that's that so the fifth point would be just do it just start don't overthink it don't try to be too meticulous some people try to overthink it some people try to think and plan for months and they never execute and they, i have a video that i did like two years ago on oh by the way my youtube channel clock three in april so this year makes it officially three years since i started doing youtube and this is a more consistent year for me and i'm really excited about it so i spoke about something just do it you know start don't overthink it 
just start and i promise you when you start the journey gets clearer when you start it begins to make more sense when you start to find better ways to doing things you learn better and stuff like that so just start don't overthink it just start you don't need to have everything figured out you just need to start and you know you start with what you have don't 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 be, how do i put it like the fact that you are thinking that oh i don't have this i don't have that if you keep thinking about things that you do not have you will never start but if you focus on what you have which is your gift your ability your voice the ability to your the world needs what you have to offer right the world needs your gift and if you keep postponing and saying oh i don't have this i don't have a mic yet i'm not yet but an iphone 13 i don't have a rig light i don't have a camera i don't have uh my dear just start don't overthink it use sunlight we don't need to it did, i didn't start with a ring light it was a gift and i told myself that as my youtube channel keeps growing i will keep investing into it so it's not like i'm going to carry all of my money all of my savings i'm going to buy camera at all no why would i do that for what why no start with what you have start with where you are use sunlight there are so many videos that i have on my channel that i started using sunlight i didn't have a ring light so i maximized the day when the sun was out and, and the beautiful thing is that the way our house is situated like the light during the day is very bright and like light comes directly into the living room so i position my camera in a way that you know the light is bright enough for me to record sometimes i even used to record at the balcony so start with what you have guys this youtube creation thing is not bright and being so so apparently the other two points that i did i had even concluded the video my phone storage was full so it stopped recording so I was speaking to myself for about 10 minutes, I didn't know. But anyway, the um, other point I was talking about was just do it, start. So number six, be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Everybody's journey is different. Focus on you and your journey. Focus on your YouTube journey. So people start YouTube and within six months, they've hit 1,000 subscribers. They've hit 4,000 watch hours. No journey is not someone else's journey. You are probably comparing yourself with Busola. Busola that probably was an influencer on social on Instagram, and then when the person when Busola started YouTube, all her followers just followed her to YouTube, and then within six months, she has hit two thousand subscribers. She has started. She's she's monetized. You are not Busola. Focus on your journey. When you start YouTube, know that your journey is different. Put in your best. Be consistent. But some people will hit 1,000 subscribers after three, four years. Others will hit it within one year. Different things, like different people have different journeys. Just focus on yourself and be patient with yourself. Do not compare yourself with any other person. Your journey is different. Say what you aim to, how like it will happen for you is different from how it will happen for other people. Just focus on your journey and be patient with yourself. You do not expect to plant a tree to sow a seed today and then to tomorrow, two days time. The, the seed has germinated or it has become a tree it take things take time and if you want quality sometimes quality things actually take time good things actually do take time sometimes so if you are patient enough you are consistent enough you produce value you produce valuable content you will grow you, you will hit those goals you will hit the watch hours time you will hit your subscriber counts just be patient with yourself and focus on your journey so the seventh point is don't stop learning and improving if you know me anybody that knows anybody that's close to me knows that me soccer for personal development anything that has to do with me learning something new anything that has to do with me you know increasing my skill becoming better at what i do i'm very curious i'm always asking questions so why is this like this why is this like that what can i do to become better or how can i well like i'm always asking questions keep improving watch youtubers watch successful youtubers so watch youtubers that have attained and hit goals that have done phenomenal things on youtube watch youtubers have had like 50,000 subscribers 100,000 subscribers watch them listen to their videos listen to things that they have to say listen to their experiences learn from them i mean other people have gone ahead in this youtube journey 
they know better learn from your experiences watch videos and also look for ways to always improve your videos every new video should be different and better from the previous one what do i mean by that let's say you recorded a video this week and then the sound quality was kind of bad you did not really edit it properly the sound was muffled or something by next week when you are recording another video you usually are more intentional about the sound to not block the mouthpiece of the phone let's say this is the mouthpiece and you are recording and your hand is like this of course the, the sound will be muffled so next time be, be, be conscious be intentional record it do not block the sound when you are editing it edit the volume appropriately if if the um if the angle to your to your shots are not really properly aligned in a, in a particular video in a week the following week make we evaluate it okay how, how do i improve this video there should always be something new about your videos your be, your videos should keep getting better because with consistency comes perfection when you do it today oh you found a better way to do it tomorrow you found a better day to edit you found a better way to you know improve your videos that's how you keep growing on your youtube journey so keep improving i even remember how i have a video on like any videos that i have on my youtube channel where my cousin was the one that helped me to hold the camera because at the time i didn't have a ring light like i said i just started youtube and so like it was a lot of hand movements and all of that the, the video wasn't really you know smooth throughout i was really grateful for him that he was even willing to help me and i was really appreciative of him he was nine years old at the time so he he stood with me recorded me ensured that the, I, I done the recording and it was really beautiful and i was really grateful for him but the video was a little bit shaky so the following week i even had to put a disclaimer that oh i'm sorry it was my cousin that helped me hold the phone and i was really appreciative of him but that was the point i was that was the level at which i was and the following video was better because i that was when i not started stacking books and putting the phone even though the angle would be low but i noted these things down and as i continued to progress i started making corrections and improving right even the way i edit my videos it has improved over the years it has improved at, after each video so these things are things that you know you always have to be conscious about evaluate your videos okay what am i what should i do better how do i improve on these videos really read more learn from other youtubers don't keep don't don't be proud don't be too proud to say ah this small girl just started this small boy just started youtube yesterday look at person has already hit one no be humble enough to learn be humble enough to learn and that's how you improve that's how you get better so thank you so much for watching these are the seven things you need to know before starting your youtube channel i hope that this video helped you please don't forget to like comment share subscribe somebody definitely would need this thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye i love you all Mwah. what is it what is it it's good to have jesus they've taken lights hey for that big hi guys so let's talk you know, they took the electricity and it wasn't like about 30 minutes plus. But we're back. So I was talking about, you know, setting goals. So let me make sure this thing is recording. Okay, it is.